Hi again, everybody. It's time for Grant's Rant. Grant's Rant is brought to you by New Works Plumbing of Sacramento. Locally owned for over 20 years, New Works has a fix for you. For your plumbing needs and repairs, just go to newworksplumbing.com, N-E-W-W-R-X plumbing.com. Well, if the Kings end up losing this best of seven series to the Golden State Warriors, they may very well look at last night's game three where they were a no-show. No Draymond Green, no Gary Payton for the Warriors, and they went wire to wire. They made it look easy. I mean, you could make the argument that the Kings played their worst game of the season last night. A golden opportunity missed. Again, no Green, no GP2, and you come out and play that poorly? Yeah, you still have a lead, two games to one in this best of seven series, but how do you explain that? I mean, that was awful, terrible. I mean, they couldn't make shots. Assist to turnover ratio was bad. Rebounding, they got manhandled. And you have to wonder what's going to happen now with Green and Peyton coming back on the floor for game four. I don't think the Kings want a scenario where they're on their home floor in a game seven against the defending champs. I'm not saying they couldn't win, but that's not really a picture that I think a lot of fans would be comfortable with, at least those that root for the Sacramento Kings. And yeah, last night doesn't take away what the Kings did in games one or two, but you got to be a little concerned going into Sunday's matinee where the Kings could go up three games to one or all of a sudden this could be a best of three series. Here's what I do know. They're going to have to play a hell of a lot better than they played last night because the Warriors didn't have their A game last night. I gave the Warriors, what, a B minus, a C plus last night? And they still ran the Kings off the court. Not a good sign for Sacramento. But again, right now, they're still in the driver's seat, up two games to one. What's the adage? A series doesn't begin until a team loses on their home floor. And, well, that obviously has not happened yet. And that's my rant for today. Hey, be sure and join us. The next watch party is Sunday at Daycon Korean Barbecue in Natomas. Remember, that's a 1230 start. So Ryan and I will be down there doing the pregame show, halftime, and postgame. We'll probably get down there around 11. It's all you can eat, Korean barbecue, Daycon Korean barbecue in Natomas. Hope to see you there on Sunday. Again, thank you so much for watching Grant's Rant. Have yourself a fabulous weekend.